An 11 year old boy is charged with possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute. Tusa County investigators believe that he brought THC infused cereal bars to Lakeview Middle School last week. Authorities believe he shared the bars with other students. Two of them got sick, were taken to the hospital. Superintendent Chance Nick says he knows many edibles are legal for parents to buy, but they're not meant for children. He advises parents to secure edibles if they're in their home. And the superintendent says students who bring them to school will be disciplined. And News 12 spoke with local dispensary owner David Rutherford, who owns Journey Hemp in St. Elmo. Rutherford responds to the Lakeview Middle School incident. He says protecting kids from THC products is both the dispensary and the parents' responsibility. For parents, one of the biggest tips is educating your child. You just want to sit them down and show them the product and show them it is an 18 and over product, just like it would be for cigarettes or firearms. You know, and, and when they get that age, then they'll be able to obtain that particular product, but at this time it's not good for them. Rutherford also advises keeping THC products stored in a high locked away place. He also warns parents to keep their products in the original packaging or else they could be mistaken for regular candy. Dispensaries should have clear labeling on their products and only sell to people 21 and up.